So today's project, we shall replace the Power One inverter that we've had fitted for about seven years now. When it played up the other day, and we lost all power, all um, we lost all solar, just cut out. Uh, we left it off for two days, reset it, and eventually it came back on again. So it's working again now. But in the meantime, I went out and bought a Sunny Boy 4000. Uh, inverter which is a supposedly a better quality one so what we're going to do now we're going to take this one off and we're going to replace it we've got two strings uh, we've got four kilowatts all together of panels and uh, with there's your mains isolator and that's your DC isolator so we're going to turn both off and turn that one off first the power and then we'll turn the DC off second and then we'll make the cables off again and uh, we'll stick this one on the wall. So here we go. Right, just turn the power off, and uh, we just turn the DC off, and the power one inverter's just uh, powered down. So now we'll wait a few minutes, and we'll disconnect all the cables, and um, we'll take it off the wall. That's your mains cable coming in. That's 240 volt to the grid. That one there, so we'll unscrew that one. And then we've got the PV in, two strings. Uh, so we unplug those and we've got some new connectors we need to make off of the end. So we're gonna change those connectors. They're really old ones. And we've got the Phoenix contact ones to go on the SMA version. Uh, these are the old connectors, look like MC1s. They're the really old design, been superseded now. Uh, the ones we've got to use now are the Sunclix ones, and they are, which are unique to the SMA. Uh, these these are the only ones that fit these Sunny Boy SMAs. So we're going to cut these off and we're going to stick these on the Now end. with the new connectors it's just a matter of bearing the wire back and slipping it in and then pressing down on that section there and it locks into place. So that's uh, that's a sun clicks. Very right, easy We've mounted fit. the wall plate now so we need just to tighten it up. Now you do need some quite good fixings on this because this uh, Sunny Boy does weigh about three times heavier uh, than the old um, the old Power One unit. It's really, really heavy. So we've got some decent bolts into the wall. So we'll just screw those up now. Right, that's all finished. That's uh, screwed onto the wall. Now it's time to hang the inverter onto it. So I've made all the connections off now, positive, negative, positive, negative in the right order. And then they just fit onto the SMA Sunny Boy terminal. So just push on and click. There you go, and that's it. And that's all the two strings now mounted on. So that's all the DC side of it done. That's all finished. Right, now we've connected to the, uh, the mains and that just goes into those connector block there, which are just spring-loaded connectors, no screws involved, they go in there. All the DC's connected. So now, it should be time to turn it on. So we'll just replace the cover, just on the safe side and turn it on. Okay, that's all finished now, apart from just tying the wires up. So what we'll do now, we will just turn the power on for a start. Let's just pull the torch. Power on, that's the mains first. Then we power the PV on and we'll wait and see what happens. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Uh, something's happening. It's starting to light up the uh, display panel. Um, what you must remember on the Sunny Boy is to fit the DC isolator back in if you take it off. That's this unit here. If you take the cover off, you'll remove that. You must remember to put that back in, otherwise it won't work. We've got a few clicks going on now. And the power light mains is coming on and flashing. Uh, we've got um, no display yet at all. There we go, we've got, we're connected to the mains, the grid, that's 242 volts. 
Oh, we're generating, right, here we go. We're generating now 753 watts. No, it's got again, 1,073 watts. And 1,093, it's going up again. And you'll notice now on the display, it rotates between the strings. We've put both strings together. We've got two strings, two kilowatts each. We've put them both together, which is the same thing. And so the, first, the, the second string is nothing, on, nothing connected, so that's nothing produced. And the, when it changed over to the, the first string again, there we go, first string, 225 volts, 240 volts, 244 to the mains, uh, generating 841 watts at the moment. It's overcast day today. Um, and I think that's probably it. We'll just keep monitoring it for a short while. And we expect a really sunny day tomorrow. That's one reason I got it fitted today. So there we go. Rotates between the strings. Uh, 799 watts. Uh, no, no power on that string at all. You, you've got two strings on, uh, to connect to if you need to. But we've put both strings on the same side. Because apparently it's no difference. And there we go. So that's working fine. Um... Hopefully a bit more reliable than the old Power One inverter, which is uh, cheap and nasty, really. Um, it's got a fault, so we might take it apart and have a look. See if there's a dry solder joint there or something. But I've always wanted to get a Sunny Boy on there, so uh, here we go. This is a 4 kilowatt Sunny Boy, by the way. And that's it, all finished. Thank you very much. Till next time.